Hello, hello, it's me, Jeanette, creator and owner of Pocket Letters and author of Jeanette Lane blog. How are you? Hope you've been well. In today's video, I am sharing a journal with me process video, and basically I'm gonna be doing a layout in my traveler's notebook, one of these inserts that I actually made myself. And it's really super easy to make these inserts. I've done a video tutorial uh, to make them make something very similar to them, which is basically the same process. And all you need is a long reach stapler, some copy paper, and some pretty cardstock. So I will be linking that video below in case you're interested in making your own little notebook inserts for your traveler's notebook. And in case this notebook does look familiar, this traveler's notebook is the Webster's traveler's notebook in rose gold. And I have a video on it. It was set up for Christmas the last time you saw it. So if you're interested in seeing that, I will post that video as well. So I finally printed some pictures because I purchased a printer. It's been so long since I've had a functioning printer, like two years or something. Um, so I'm really excited about it and it is the HP DeskJet 3630. In case you're interested, I will have it linked below. Um, so far I'm loving it and these pictures I ended up printing just on copy paper because I didn't have any photo paper, but I purchased some photo paper just yesterday and so I now will be able to print a ton of photos and I'm really looking forward to that because it's been so long since I've journaled or like scrapbooked or done any kind of paper crafts with like loads of pictures in them. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm gonna be pulling stuff out now for my stash and the cardstock you see in the upper right hand corner is left over for when I made these notebook inserts. So I'm gonna be using that and I'm also gonna be pulling out other bits to use in my layout like scraps, die cuts, ephemera, I always have trouble saying that, and washi tape. The pictures I'm using in this layout are just pictures from Manchester, which is where my husband and I live. And in case you want to follow our adventures abroad, you can follow us on our personal account on Instagram, which is JJ in Manchester. Now I'm planning on printing more photos of our city and everyday life because I think it's so important to document just your everyday, you know, days when you think that you're not really doing anything super spectacular <laughs> or um, just simple things that you want to remember. So this particular picture that I'm gluing down is from a regular Sunday after church when we went like window shopping at Mark and Spencer's, which honestly it's kind of like our tradition now because <laughs> we, lo we love that store so much. Okay, let's get crafty and super technical and talk about the elements and principles of design. I know I've talked about this in other of my videos and I do go a little bit deeper in my online pocket letters workshop, but I encourage you, especially if you're a beginner crafter, to just do a Google search and read a few articles on it. I think it'll like really help you understand why certain designs are more visually stimulating to our eye and it'll help you develop your own aesthetic and trust me, like I know <laughs> this sounds really boring, but it's actually pretty fascinating stuff, and at least I think so. So right now I'm practicing balance with a little straightforward symmetry. And as you can see, I'm putting a little bit of this Flourish craft cardstock on one side of my layout. Then I'm gonna put a little bit on the opposite side of my layout, and it really brings unity and balance to my project. So the white picture borders were not working for me and now I'm just trimming off the white excess. I'm adding a piece of cardstock which has tiny gray polka dots and this gives like some contrast to the gold polka dotted cardstock that I have because I felt like it was getting lost in the white background. Plus I think it adds a little bit of balance to the small hints of gray on the opposite page. 
I don't know if you can tell, but I was really struggling with the placement of my photos. I actually edited it out like 10 minutes of indecisiveness because I couldn't figure out where to place my pictures. Like I'm not used to crafting with actual photographs. It's been so long since I've made an actual scrapbook layout with more than like one picture. But I'm gonna keep practicing and I'm gonna try to get better at it. I'm all about that full disclosure, friends. I'm not the world's best crafter, nor do I claim to be. I'm still learning and I make mistakes and that's okay. You know why? Because we're in this crafting journey together. In case you're having trouble with photos too, I got some great advice from one of my crafty friends, Ara from The Paper Treasury, and I will have her YouTube channel linked down below, but she told me to think of photos like embellishments themselves, and I think that's just some really simple, basic advice that I'm gonna be applying not only to my future layouts, but also in how I frame and take my pictures from now on. Okay, so let's talk stamping. I really want to incorporate more stamps into my projects because I have so many cute stamps that I never ever use and I'm really sad about that. But I have like a love-hate relationship with stamping. I literally hold my breath every time that I stamp something because sometimes more likely than not, it doesn't work perfectly, at least for me. Like I didn't put enough ink on my stamp or I didn't apply enough pressure or the edges of my stamp block got ink on them as well. So many things can go wrong, but when it works, it looks fantastic. In case you're wondering about this stamp set, I'm like 98.99% sure that these stamps are by Kelly Perky, and I will find a link for you and put it in the description bar. I also have um, the mini version of these stamps, and they're super cute, and I will include that link um, to the online shop that I got it at as well. Also, if you could do me a huge, gigantic favor, I want you to tell me your thoughts on stamping. Like, do you love it? Do you hate it? Do you hold your breath and say a prayer before you stamp like I do? Let me know. I'm super curious about your crafting experiences. Well, that's it for today, friends. If you'd like to see more of my crafty projects, then please follow me on Instagram at Jeanette Lane Blog. And also, don't forget to check out the official Pocket Letters website for your free starter checklist, workshops, and other licensed Pocket Letter products at www.pocketletters.com. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye!